Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can set up e-commerce MVC. So this is the main folder that you will receive after downloading e-commerce MVC. This folder contains three subfolders. Number one, source code. Number two, documentation. And number three, demo data. As their name suggests, source code will contain all the source code files. Documentation will contain all the documentation files and the demo data will contain all the demo data related files to import demo data. Let's go to the source code folder. So these are all the files that you will need to open e-commerce MVC with Visual Studio. Before opening this project, I would recommend to use Visual Studio 2019. But you can still use e uh, Visual Studio 2017 and Visual Studio 2015. Let's open this project. Before making any changes, let's talk about database. Let's expand e-commerce MVC module. E-commerce MVC is the main web project in e-commerce MVC solution. Let's go to web.config file. Here you can see the connection strings node. In the connection strings, we have one connection string named e-commerce connection string dash OK. The current value of connection string is set to the default instance of your SQL server that should be local DB MS SQL local DB and the initial catalog is set to e-commerce MVC DB dash new you can change these values depending on your SQL server instance and the database name you want we are using entity framework code first approach to create database so whatever the value you assign here Entity framework will check if the database is already present. If the database is already present, it will use that data database. If the database is not present, Entity framework will automatically create the database with all its tables and the initial seeded values. You can find the initial seeded values in e-commerce.data folder project. Now let's change the initial catalog to something else. Now you can run this project. The, when you are loading e-commerce MVC for the first time, it will take some time as Entity Framework is figuring out if the database is present or not. As we know, we have created a new connection string, so it will create a new database here. So that's why it's taking some time. Okay, so now e-commerce MVC is completely set up and you can explore it all the database and all the other dashboard is completely created. You can even log in using the administrative account. The detail for that is mentioned in the documentation. Go to the setup page. Here you can find all the information and 
the admin credentials. Now we are logged in. Let's go to the dashboard panel. You can even find the default configurations. The default currency symbol, dashboard record size per page. You can explore these configurations. Now let's go to the demo data folder. The demo data folder contains uh, one folder demo and the DB data script. DB data script contain SQL commands to insert products in the database. Let's open it. Select the database and execute. The query has executed successfully. Go back to the home page of e commerce MVC. Here you can find all the products. If for some reason the product images are not loaded, you will need to copy the demo folder from here to source code, e-commerce MVC, go to the content folder, images, and then the demo folder. If this folder is not present, you will need to copy the demo folder from demo data. You can even explore all the products The products even have the default comments as represented in the demo. I hope it clears how you can set up e-commerce MVC. If you have any question related to e-commerce MVC, you can ask me on my email at sajadarifgul at gmail.com or you can ask in the forum. Thanks for watching. Bye.